What is up guys, it's boy Revan here today with another fantastic deck. This is gonna be a bit different deck because this deck actually started as something else and it turned out to be this. So this is a Sableye Arctozol deck and we're gonna have two different Sableyes. Of course, this deck started as a Sableye V deck, so we're gonna have a V card here. But the more I played it, the more I enjoyed the Sableye Baby from the Vivid Volta, the Torment attack. Why the Torment is so good? Uh, cards like Eterna 2, Santi Scorch VMAX, all those VMAX, they do have only one attack. So if you can choose one of their opponent's active Pokemon's attack and just say, you can't use it, that's really good, especially if they don't have a switch, they maybe not have the energy to retreat, that is definitely problematic, or if that is their only mod with energy. So that definitely shuts down a lot and gives us a bit of time to charge Sableye V, again, Torment 30 damage, and also to get those Arc results onto the bench. So that is a key card, and that's why I decided to call this deck Sableye Arc Result, not Sableye V, because without this card, well, the rest kind of, you know, falls apart, right? We've, if we don't have, you will see it exactly in, uh, in the gameplay portion, so against like Eternatus VMAX, right, which is, was a great game. So that is what we got here. Of course, we are playing the Sableye V with the Crazy Claws and because we're playing Sableye we have a dark type energy, so we can also use Crobat as an attacker, which is worth knowing. But this is a deck that it's all about options, it's all about dealing energy, so we also will be attacking sometimes with Arctozol. So again, Crazy Claws, 10 plus, and that's 64 dam for each damage counter. So just going back, that's 60 for each damage counter, right? So let's say I've used Torment, that's 30 damage, right? So 3 damage counter, that's 180, 190 if I'm going to attack next turn with the Crazy Claws. That is worth knowing because that is a significant amount of damage that we can deal. So, again, on top of that, of course, we got an Arctozolt that deals that damage once our opponent is playing energy from their hand. So, all of those damages stack. Um, I'm not really using that Mimikyu that stops you know, the uh, Healing Jammer, the Mama Jamma. Um, I'm not using him, but if you want to, you can, but I'm, I'm, I just chose not to. So let's go card by card here. So we start off with one Crobat V, two Sableyes, three Sableye Vs, one Dedenne, and four Arctozolts. Uh, we also have four uh, rare fossils for that four Arctozolts. Then we got three Crushing Ammas, four evolution instances with three Lily's Pokédoll, and here also worth knowing that you can bring all those things back with the load search. Then we got two Ordinary Rods, one Pole Pad, four Quick Balls, four Fossils, as I said, one Rose Tower, and in decks like that, Rose Tower is really important because majority of the time you're gonna have two to three cards tops in your hand. So Rose Tower, if you want to play two, you can. I think one is uh, enough because we're playing two training cards to bring back the dark type energy. Uh, so something that not a lot of decks that are dark type do, which is <coughs> excuse me, quite quite good. Then of course got two boss orders with three Carolis and. I can't right up. That is an amazing card to set up the fossils. That's a great search for the fossils, and I love it. Then, of course, we got two Giovanni's Exile to get rid of the Crobat and um, our Dedenne, but also if there's like a tight spot and you want to open up the bench, that is the way to go. Now we got uh, two Monies, two Opals, which is, I know, super weird thing, but hear me out. I know if you don't like a coin flip, sure, play additional Marnie, play additional Sableye, but if you flip even one coin, you can precisely search for what you need, because it says for a card. So, if you need special energy, you can go for it. If you need, you know, item, you can go for it. Pokemon, everything. That's why I've added that card, to open up the options, and honestly, we do need those, right? Maybe sometimes it's gonna be a Rose Tower, maybe a Rosa, maybe Aurora Energy, but the options, that is all about. And then, got, of course, we got two Professor Researchers with one Rosa. Then, Energy Line is quite important, so we got two Aurora Energies. Remember, we can't bring it back. So, Aurora Energy, mainly on two things. Either if you wanna attack, really attack, with the Static Shock, or, for Arctozolt, because not everyone thinks that you can attack with it, and that is a great surprise, especially against Obstagundex. That is a fantastic attacker. Then, 
<coughs> excuse me, three twin energies and six dark type energies. That is it. That is a whole deck. So let's move on to the gameplay portion and let's have some fun. You'll see exactly why this deck is exciting. And, you know, the finish of that game, you know, that, that I'm going to show you, it's just mwah, gorgeous. So let's would you like to go first? Yes, let's go. Wait, what, what, whoa, 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 what am I playing? What was that? I think I know what was that, but like, why? Hmm. What deck that might be that we'll be facing? I'm really curious. Heads. Yeah, let's go first. No, that's AD pay. I know. That's all. It's always AD pay. But you know what? Can I shut down GX with the torment? Because then that would mean that I can go second and just shut it down. So wait, um, I'm gonna get Sableye. Twin, Crowbat. Hmm. Ah, oh, we don't have what I wanted, but it's still not bad. Yeah, it just says, choose one of your opponent's attack. Like, that's it. Right? It doesn't say no GX. Oh, well, never... Wait, actually... Huh. That is Eternatus. So, again, he also has only one attack. But I feel like, again, the biggest problem is getting to the fossils. Um, I know you remember playing it. How you manage to get to the fossils? Because I am, um, like, I just have no idea. I don't know. What is the secret? Okay, let's go like that. Rose Tower. Okay, actually, Giovanni's Exile, that's not bad. Um, and Torment. I mean, 30 damage in. Play for and dig. Yeah, that's what I was worried about, you know? <laughs> Scoop up net. Again, Giovanni Sector is gonna open me space. 100%. Because he's yeah, he focused on the Sable IV, which is great. Um But maybe you know maybe Marnie is a play as well. Or wait a second. I know what I can do. Boss. I mean, I know there's going to be another Giovanni. I'm playing two. The Dene. He has only one attack. 
Right, and I have Giovanni, so that's gonna be my next turn to get rid of those two. Torment. I have nothing, I have nothing else. So, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna torment him. I'm gonna try to put damage that way, because it's a little bit late to get fossils. Um, I have, I'm gonna play Giovanni. Okay, yeah, so he's doing the switcheroo. No, not really on me. No. Okay, turbo patch. And that's it, great. Exile, let's open him up a bench. Ah, almost, okay. I mean, I can torment him um, for that 30 damage. Which I think it's not a bad idea. I mean, I play the Tornatus, and I think in the best of three scenario, you can make it a lot more consistent. But you have to play a lot of base, you have to like really get to it. Because I've already did a ride on YouTube, so you should know that. You should know that. <laughs> um, already done that. And not everyone wants to pull those cards, and not everyone wants to go for those cards. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and again, you know... He is a costly card, not gonna lie. Um, oh wait, that's a carrier. My goodness, right now, really, I have a good game. So. I have a good game. Uh, what I wanted to do was this. I'm gonna finish my turn. Before he's gonna come, uh, here and torment. There we go. And I'm back. Um, so he's still thinking. Great. What a bunch of BS. So I signed, you know, I signed it that, you know, the protocol. And he goes like, no, that's a wrong signature. And I'm like, that is my signature. What is wrong with that? On all the documents, I have the same. He's like, no. Um, Alright, so is he trying still to figure it? Okay, yeah, th he's switching, sure. Dude, I'm gonna be the most annoying guy in the universe for him. Uh, do I have a knockout? I think I messed it up, didn't I? Yeah, I messed it up. Um, gosh darn it. 
I did mess it up. I wanted to play boss order to get a knockout. Um, but it's fine. Okay, I can still pull it off. So... You know what? I have an idea. I'm gonna play that Aurora Energy here later. Yeah, but I did mess it up. I wanted to get Boss Order and knock him out. Um, which I messed up, unfortunately. I'm blaming the courier. So my idea right now is to, yeah, because I have to, you know, somehow... Well, not really somehow. Yeah, you can do 90, sure. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Because it all depends who's going to attack, start attacking first, right? Um, yeah, I can't play Rosa. That's a boss. That boss that goes here. Um, I have 17 cards. That's enough. Uh, that's an evolution mod. He's hitting only 90. Just in case, I can do that. Play Ro uh, Rose Tower. Great. Um, instead of Carolus, I'm going to get myself another Sableye. Hey, how's it going, mate? How's it going? I'm doing great things so much for us. I'm doing really good, and let's go! Good knockout. So, you see, like, this is, you know, this is the thing with Eternatus, and all I want to do right now is literally either prepare Arctozol to start attacking. Um, yeah, he had to get rid of stuff as well, you know, from the bench. I'm kind of surprised how good that Sableye is, you know? I'm really surprised. And you wouldn't think, you know, he's like, oh yeah, he's gonna do it. But when you think about, you know, the fact that majority of VMAX have only one attack, like, that changes a lot. And even if you're playing against Picarom, you know, you can just shut down uh, Bolton's attack. Right. Okay, abstract, sure. Marty. Mm, and retreat. I turn out to his VMAX. Nice! Okay, what do I have left? So I have no stadium left, I gotta remember that. No stadium left. No, I wouldn't say so, he's gonna drop in price, you know. He will, I'm telling you. You gotta believe Uncle Raven. <laughs> I mean, he's g good, but there's a lot that he's lacking, unfortunately. Like, online finally did what IRL would do months ago, which is learn how to play against it. Because we would still have, you know, IRL tournaments, you would see a lot of that. You know, people would actually know how to play against uh, this particular uh, card. Um, I can do... wait. Yeah, I'm just gonna go Ordinary Rod. Do both. So again, I'm putting a lot of stuff back. Which is great.
energy and electro ball. Well, not really. I, I wouldn't say amers. Um, like, of course, they do help, but that's a coin flip. So you gotta, you know, you gotta play those, but also be lucky. Yeah, he can't play like four goons. I mean, that's because that's what he needs. Four goons. But he can evolve here, which would be a huge bummer. <laughs> okay. Exactly, right? You always flip tails. Okay. Okay, so he changed to black market, okay. But he has to know that also black market works for me. Alright. Electro Ball. I have another Aurora Energy, so I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try to later on knock that fella out. I do have energy in the deck as well. Nice try on me. Okay, he's going after Sableye, okay. But it's gonna take only one prize card, so it doesn't hurt me that much. There is. Oh, from Shiny Star, okay. Oh, so that's for February. Dude, February is... Whoa, okay, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. And when you, your Pokemon of VMAX is knocked out, your opponent takes three prize cards. Wait. That can't be right. That's not... Yeah, that's 180. Eh. Oh, that's gonna be better. Um, okay, so... I gotta think. I can pass. Um, all right, let's go like that. Pass. And it's not for full I'll eat. Oh, that's not the loop. That's like a four-hour video. Okay, come on. Right, there you go, you, you gotta save a light. There's a black market, so... Oh no, but, but I don't have any energy. Gosh darn it. So if he's gonna knock out here... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's too late.
He has only one mod that he can attack with. That I'm not gonna take, you know, even a prize card for knocking out. But this is a top... I mean, it was not a top deck. I knew I had three energies in those six cards. Okay, it was a top deck. Top deck. Today. So he can deal 90 damage. Um, I'm gonna go Emma, retreat, attack. Right. Because I can't do anything else. Again, that stamp doesn't worry me at all. But you can clearly see why, you know, many people treat um, that one deck the way they treat it. Um, I don't know why I done that. I should have not. Mm. Okay, not taking any prize cards, I know. Because of black market. I have five turns. Or one Marnie. I know he's focusing on a Fable Eye. But that was the last scoop of it. It has to be. There's still one more. Uh oh. Yeah, exactly. He knows he can't attach the energy. That's the thing. Come on. Because if he's going to attach the energy, there are two Arctosols on the board. If he's going to play money, now it... Beauty? Exactly. So that's a switch. I'm hitting 70. That's a third Arctosalt. So if he's gonna attach the last energy, this one gets knocked out. Not by damage. That is the key word. Not by damage. So I, I'm gonna win if he's gonna attach the energy. Because black market only works when it one is knocked out by damage itself. And that is not a damage from attack. Because it says damage from an opponent's attack. That is not an attack, that's an ability. That hits for 60. And I only need 50. He passes. Okay. I mean, he's gonna keep passing, so I have one turn. Whatever I'm gonna do knocks out. So... I do have one turn, I have one card left. So whatever happens, happens right now. I have instant knockout on everything on the on, on his side of the board. We've won! Mm. We've t we take it home. A turn notice? I, I've heard a tier one and no it's not, it's No it is. It's it's a good good deck. But <laughs> look at the damage dealt, by the way. Almost 2,000 damage. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I love it. That was absolutely good game. That was a great game. Down to the wire. Love it. That was good. How's it going, sis, by the way? That was... Whew. 
Well, and there you have it, right? Fantastic, a phenomenal uh, deck. I did enjoy that. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And if you enjoy what I'm doing over here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It does really help us. Honestly, it does really help us. And down there below, there's also 5% discount any code you purchase on Professor Oak. And if you like comic books, well, we've got a channel for that. And if you like you know, miniature figures, we also got a channel for that. And, well, if you also like, you know, want us to play different games, we do have a, wait, wrong side. We do have a channel for that as well. Everything is down there below. And again, thank you guys so so much for everything. I do appreciate it a lot. But in the meantime, stay safe. Please stay safe. Goodbye. Have a fantastic rest of the day. Take care. Bye.